everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I don't know what I'm doing. This is this is take two, and I forgot what I said in take one. I said it wasn't worth keeping, so we actually deleted it. It's gone. You won't even see it. I won't see it. But today the grandkids, they spent the night last night, and so they watched a little movie, and it was about 10 o'clock, and I said, aren't you kids getting tired? Because I was getting tired. So they, they decided that they would go to bed, and they went up to bed. And then this morning, the other two came back, the one, the little ones that wanted to go home. They came back, and their mom should be coming shortly. She gets out of work at 6 today, so she, they should be, she should be coming. I'm almost 7 o'clock now, so she had to buy a pair of shoes, I think, for the little one. So she was going to stop at the store and then come. I was working on a video for Little Lady's Life. Little Lady is doing really good. It's amazing how far she has come. When I look back at the videos of her her beginnings when I went out to the chicken house to gather her when she was being pecked at and couldn't move, couldn't get up, couldn't move, couldn't anything, and the others would have killed her if I would have not intervened. And I brought her in the house, and she was... She was really pathetic because she really couldn't move even there. She could reach her, stretch her neck to get her her food and her, her water, but she wasn't even drinking, and I had to give her water by the baby medicine droppers. And then she started drinking, and she started eating, and she started pooping, of course. And I had to wash her bottom many times, and then, and then when she got to where she couldn't, she could move. She was not getting dirty anymore, which I'm sure she enjoyed because she really didn't care for me to wash her. Chickens don't like to be washed like that. That takes all their oils off their feathers, and they like their feathers to have the oil on them, so they drag the oil from the base to the tip, and this way their, their feathers stay nice. Where was I going with all this? <laughs> I was going somewhere. Lady. I know. I Well, yeah. I was working on the video, and I'm going to have to do a voiceover on it because I want to... Right now, it's like 45 minutes long. There's no way anybody's going to watch 45 minutes of just a chicken. And I'm, st I'm sitting there, and think of all the time that I sat there waiting for her to do something. And it, it's forever, forever and ever. I folded up the playpen today. I took that out because now she's staying outside all day and all night so she's she's back with the hens she made it back and she's actually doing very well she was getting the this morning when I give them their chicken food she was standing back before now she was joining them at the at the chicken trough or chicken feeder feeder trough feeder trough yeah it's, it's an old it's one from it's a metal one it's one that from the older days of chicken farming it's not from a recent, it was one that my daughter had, and it was an old farmer that had that, and she got it from him, and then I got it from her. And so she's doing really well. And Mr. Brown, he was out and about. He went for a walk with me outside for a little bit, and he, he pecked around, and he, he did his chicken stuff. And then I brought him in, and that's, I guess, my day. Don't have any more to say. I need to go back in the other room because the kids are doing, I don't know what they're doing. They, I told them to be very quiet because I was going to do the video. So I will talk to you all tomorrow and I'll let you know what happens tomorrow when tomorrow <laughs> gets here. So goodbye.